Many times on Hollywood Backstage, we've told you Hollywood is where the stars are. Well, the stars were in Las Vegas for the opening of Caesar's Palace, one of the real highlight events of any year. Caesar's Palace in Las Vegas is known for its world-famous boxing ring and has the setting of the movie The Hangover, but it was also the first themed hotel in Las Vegas. Caesar started a trend of themed hotels that lasted over 30 years. In this video, I want to go through how the hotel was founded and get into the mind of Jay Sarno, the entrepreneur who built the hotel that forever changed the way tourists interact with Las Vegas. Along the way, we'll go over a few tips you can use to improve your own product or service. I'm Alex Berman from Inspire Beats. A few months ago, I interviewed Dr. David Schwartz, a Vegas historian and author of the Jay Sarno biography, Grandissimo. Here's David explaining Sarno's vision. It, was, it just shows how savvy he was, and he was a pretty sharp guy. He had this idea. So there's that long driveway in front of Caesar's Palace. And his idea was that as you drove from the street to the Porta Cachere, where you would enter the casino, you would be transported through time and space back in time to this Caesar's Palace world where all of your fantasies would come true and you were the Caesar. And he had this idea that he liked being surrounded by beautiful women and lots of food and lots of gambling. And he thought, well, wouldn't everybody like this? Jay Sarno's rule number one, create a dream world. Jay Sarno thought about what a male tourist wanted out of a vacation and decided to dedicate his entire hotel to creating that dream. Think about your clients' fantasies. What do they really want and how can you give them that experience every time they work with you? Once you have that dream in mind, Jay Sarno's rule number two is stay true to the vision. For him, it was always a learning process and he would try something, he would not like it and make it better. So even something as mundane as the facade of Caesar's Palace, which was that block that let the light in, he was looking at the commercially available blocks and he didn't like any of them. He said, these aren't right. And most business people would just say, well, huh? You know, how much do we want to spend? This one's the cheapest one. It looks fine. Go for it. But he needed, he had to sit there and perfect, and he actually created his own block design for the facade. In your business, think about where you're cutting corners right now. Are you hiring cheap labor? Maybe your website isn't as good as it could be. Review your business from the client's point of view and smooth out any of those rough bumps. Now that his hotel plan was the greatest in the world, Sarno made sure to... Number three is go where the customers are. Well, he started in Atlanta with the cabana there. Then he built one in Dallas, the Dallas cabana. Then he built the Palo Alto cabana, which looks almost exactly like Caesar's Palace. A little bit different, but very similar. So he was refining his ideas. After running a few successful hotels, Sarno could have built his new hotel anywhere. But he saw Vegas, saw what existed there, and knew that the customers in Vegas, men on vacation, would be a great target for his hotels. Think about where you're looking for customers for your company. If you're running into pushback on your sales calls, it's probably because your clients don't 100% need what you offer. If that's the case, how can you use partnerships or other channels to find customers that already have that need for what you do? Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to subscribe if you want more videos like this. Give it a like on YouTube. Two videos to watch next. One is a video on Conrad Hilton and how he made his money with Hilton Hotels. The other one is how to avoid getting your cold emails marked as spam. A lot of very tactical tips that you can use if you're sending cold emails for business. Also, if you need leads for your B2B company or want someone to do cold emails for you, check out inspirebeats.com. Thanks.